Hi everybody and welcome to Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we share automated systems that we developed that will help you win consistently and win big. So as we are into the middle of December, there are only three weeks left of the NFL season. And there are some big matchups still going on because there are many teams still um, looking for a playoff push. So the big matchup here is New England versus Pittsburgh. New England is coming off of a loss in improbable fashion to Miami while the Steelers are on a skid and they look to end their skid. So you see here I'm on the VIP club section. I'm going to scroll down here to some of the games. And the first game on our list here is we have, here's one that we're featuring, Dallas at Indianapolis. So you see here Dallas is burning hot. You can see that they have been winning like crazy of late. They've won their last five and they're coming off a big divisional win against Philadelphia. And the Colts here are also burning hot. So these are two teams that are playing quite well. If you look here at the odds, Indianapolis has the, the edge here. And they are, if you look over here, they are a 2.5 point favorite against the Cowboys. Although the Cowboys have a slight 51% to 49% chance of winning margin. So, you know, it's pretty much like a toss-up game. So let's take a look here a little bit more closely and see what we have here to give us a better indication of who we should pick. So we, if we look at the power rankings indicator, Dallas is completely on an upward trend. And they are way up here at like plus 24. And you can see Indianapolis has dropped. They're down to minus or plus 17. That was as of December 9th. So I'm sure that went up slightly after their win. Um, so let's take a look at something else here. We're going to look at the volatility oscillator and... On here, you can see the stability. The Colts are the more stable team than the Cowboys. Both aren't, aren't extremely stable, but what this measures is uh, how consistently they win as fairs and how consistently they lose as underdogs. So, let's get rid of that. And if you look here at the head-to-head -head matchup, that doesn't mean much because these two teams haven't met in the regular season since 2014. So, what I'm looking at here is I'm thinking, although Dallas is hot and they have a 51% chance of winning. I think that they're going to come off of the big win, emotional win against Philadelphia and in Indianapolis I think the Colts will have the edge so I'm going to go with the Colts on this one. So if you go down through here, we're going to, the next matchup we're going to look at here is Green Bay at Chicago. If you look at this one here, Chicago has a 65% chance of winning the ball game. They are playing great football. They just shut down the Rams last week. They are burning hot. Green Bay pretty much needs to win out and get help to make the playoffs. They are ice cold up. So this is going to be a tough one for the Packers to win. Let's take a look here at some of the oscillators again. Volatility oscillator. You can see on this one again that uh, both teams are pretty stable. The Packers at plus 8. Bears at plus 6. And on this one here with the Bears as a big favorite. That is more of a reason to lean towards the Bears there. 5.5 point favorite at home. And let's take a look at some other things here. The power rankings indicator, as I always like to look at. You can see here the Green Bay is continuously going down. They're now at plus 6. And the Bears are at plus 23. The big advantage for the Bears on that. Let's take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups. And this one here, Green Bay has won the last 5. But you know what? And this one here, things have changed. Chicago is the much better team at this point. Go with the Bears minus the points. Go down here to the next one here. Miami at Minnesota is another one I want to look at here. Miami, again, coming off an improbable last-second win against uh, New England. The Vikings are continuing to skid. They just lost to Seattle. So the Vikings here, as you can see here, are ice cold down. And Miami with that win is burning hot. Although Minnesota does have the advantage, they are 7.5-point favorites and with a 71% chance of winning the game. So let's scroll down here and take a look at some of the other things. Let's look at the power ranking indicator like I always do. And you see they're pretty close here. Minnesota's at plus 17, they're on a downward trend. Miami's on a slight upward trend, they're at plus 14. And let's go with the volatility oscillator. I can see how stable the two teams are. And both are they've been increasingly stable. You can see how the trend is going up for both teams, although a slightly down trend right there for Miami. But they're both really stable at plus seven and plus six. Minnesota is the favorite. I'm gonna think that they will probably win this ball game, but do not be surprised if Miami covers the seven and a half point spread. That's a pretty large spread. Considering that Minnesota hasn't beaten a team with a winning record all year, that's another thing to take into consideration. So I think Miami will definitely 
cover the spread on this one. Okay, so if we go down through here again, we're talking about the, the game of the week. Then we go to the picture. I'm getting there. I'm just waiting to scroll down to it. We will get there. So let's see. The next one on the list is no, it's not Washington Jackson. We're not taking a look at that one. South San Francisco. Here we go. New England and Pittsburgh. So in this one here, you can see New England has a slight 53%, 43% edge as far as the chance of winning the game. If you look at the point spread here. Uh, New England is actually a two and a half point road favorite. And New England is average, and Pittsburgh is average down. I'm surprised Pittsburgh isn't farther down than that after their big losing streak. If you look here at the power ranking indicator, you will see the slide by the Steelers. The Steelers were up as high as 30 just a few weeks ago. They're all the way down now to 21. And New England has been on the rise despite that loss. They're still at plus 29. So they have a big advantage there. If we look at the head to head matchup, this doesn't make too much difference here because the last time they met was last year. Doesn't really affect anything this year, but if you look at the trend, New England has won the last several meetings between the teams. If you look here at the volatility oscillator. There we go. Both teams are not really that stable. New England relatively stable, plus five, but not extremely so. But the Steelers way down here at minus two. So again, that means don't take their favorite underdogs as too seriously, and that's because uh, they're not winning consistently as favorites. They're, they're only 3-3 three and three at home and likely favorites in most of those games, so they're not being very consistent. So what I'm thinking is, I think New England was actually going to come back and win the game and continue to slide by the Steelers. And at the 2.5 point spread, they will not just win, they will definitely cover that game. Okay, and there's one more game we want to look at here. It's New Orleans at Carolina. New Orleans has a big chance here, 71% to 29% chance of winning. Carolina has lost five in a row. You can see here their dead status. Uh, New Orleans here, you can see their status is burning hot. They have good odds of winning. At, uh, their odds are, are 1.4, 3.1. Go down through here to the head-to-head -head matchups for this game here in New Orleans. Look at this. They have won their last three and four of the last five in this series between the two teams. Power rankings indicator again. You can see here in New Orleans a slight dip, but they're still at plus 28. Carolina has been steady the last couple of weeks. They're at uh, plus 15. And the volatility oscillator to see what's going on with their stability. You can see New Orleans at plus 5. Carolina is at plus 1. All things point towards New Orleans to win this game. What is the spread? The line is, is 7. There's a 7 point spread. I think that's actually going to be low. I think New Orleans wins and covers that rather easily in this one. Okay, so again, if you're not interested in all these numbers and everything, you don't really have to look at this. You can go to our top performing automated systems. It's actually very helpful. All you have to do is select the sport. In this case, you would select the NFL. And then you look at the profit time that you're looking at, the top profit method. You can look at all kinds of different things on here. If you go down through the list, you see all the different systems that you can click on. And when you click on one, I'll just click on one here. Give you an idea. So I'll just go with this one right here. Carol system. So if you look at what this one is here, you go down through the list and see how profitable it is. There it is. The net profit graph. This is kind of a good graph to look at. You can see over the number of games and the profit total. So there's all kinds of things you can look at on these graphs. So that's basically it for this week, but I just wanted to say that uh, congratulations for a successful year. And we want to miss you, wish you a Merry Christmas here from Z Code Sports, and we hope you have a profitable 2019. And before you go, be sure to check out our special Christmas offers here. And if you haven't joined, please join and become a member, and you can win and win big consistently. Thank you, and have a great day.